Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're going to be painting planets and showing you how to make your own DIY space themed wall art. This video has definitely been on our list for a while mm -hmm. and we've both seen some really beautiful planets and paintings of planets on Instagram, Pinterest and Etsy so we thought we'd give it a try ourselves. I've drawn plants before, I think I coloured it in though because it was in like primary yeah. school but I have that experience but it was kind of easy so I don't know if it's going to be harder today because we're actually painting it. I've planned to paint planets in the past but I've never actually got around to doing it because I've been busy with GCSE artwork instead and I also feel like it's going to be really hard. Yeah I think it's going to be difficult but... Mm -hmm. And then as well like the shape of it, if you mess up the shape of the circle it immediately goes wrong. Not with this. <laughs> Before we get started, we just want to mention that Ruby actually has her own channel and it's called Ruby Rose UK, it'll be linked in the description. She makes her own content on there and posts weekly on a Friday. I'm posting them more regularly now, I did stop for a while but now that I'm posting if you want to watch my videos, they're like more daily life ones. Yeah, they're more lifestyle content. So if you like that content then go over there. So we know that we're painting planets today but we don't know what planets we're painting or what we're using. Mm -hmm. And for each round our mum is going to give us a range of different materials that we'll then pick from and that will determine what we're painting, what we're using and we don't know what they are yet. And there is also six rounds in this challenge, three before we paint our planets and three after, which is a bit strange. Yeah, we've never really had rounds after we've actually done the paintings, so I'm curious to see what they are. So in this challenge, there's only going to be one of each item, so hopefully we get to pick the ones that we want. Mm -hmm. And make sure you actually pick the ones you want for this time, because last time we did one of these challenges, Ruby managed to pick three colours that she didn't want. What? It turned out good though. Okay, so we have three different types of paint. The first type is watercolour, the second type is acrylic, and the third type is oil. So watercolour paint is all about building the image up. Really, you start off with base colours and you leave parts white and then you just build them up because the actual paints are quite thin and watery. Acrylic paint can be very thick and as much as you build the image up, if you mess up, you can just completely coat it in a colour and you won't even be able to tell the colour behind. But with watercolours, you can. With oil paints, I've never really got the hang of them, although I'd like to. I know that they're not water-based, so you can't really thin them down in the same way. Do you want to rip paper scissors it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna choose first, and I already know what I want because when you explained it, I exactly knew what I wanted. Yeah. I don't want oils because they seem really, really hard to use. I always use these, and I've never used watercolors in the video before, so I'm oh, gonna cool. go with watercolors. Bad by me, that's the one I didn't want. <laughs> I have two options, and I honestly don't know which one I want to choose. I know I'm better at acrylics because I've used them more, but I would like to try and use oils some point. I think I'm going to go with acrylic just because I know I can do it well. So I'm going to be painting planets with watercolours and I've never used these in a video before and they're kind of hard to use but I'm excited to try yeah. it out. Depends who you are, some people really like them. And I'm using acrylics because these are my favourite type of paint to paint with and the one I'm most experienced with. And we'll put the links to everything we use in the description. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh! It's the same brand. This is so cool. Oh, it's that. It's full this. So we have three different options for what we're going to paint on. Option number one. This is a smooth watercolour paper. If you took that, we mean. <laughs> this is A3 paper and it's really cool. It's very big. Then we have this. Whoa. Oh, it's a gecko. <gasps> Feel it. Feel the gecko. Then we have this large sketchbook of cartridge paper in A3 as well. Sorry, it's so big, it's hard to handle. Piece of black paper. Yeah, then we have A3 black paper, which I doubt you're going to choose because it might not show up. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I think it's quite obvious what I want to choose. Yeah. I'm going to use the watercolour paper because it's watercolour paper. Yeah, that was something. predictable. <laughs> I know what I'm going to use as well. I really want to use this the cartridge paper because it looks good to paint on with acrylic also it's got like a gecko thingy here and on the inside now we know what paper and paints we're using and we have one more round before we actually paint these planets do you have any ideas no i do three two 
two, one. Oh, that's I thought there was thought. nothing there. So, what we have here is we have the names of some of the planets in our solar system. We have Earth, Jupiter, Mercury. Pluto, Moon, Saturn, but the Moon isn't a planet, so it's it doesn't have to light. Of course you'd say that. We'll just cast it as a planet today. I can tell she's angry. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> that's debatable. For anyone wondering why the moon isn't currently defined as a planet, although it might change in the future, it's because to be a planet, you kind of need to have your own source of gravity, I think. And the moon doesn't. Well, it rotates around the earth, whereas the planets rotate around the sun, so it doesn't have a strong enough gravity. It's also pretty small. Pluto's not a planet anymore, is it? Can we move on? Yeah. I haven't won in a while. Okay, I know what I want. I'm not going to tell you though, but you'll probably see if you pick it, my reaction. I'm really scared that I'm gonna like pick the one you want. I really like a lot of these and I don't know which one, but... Stop looking at my side. <laughs> I think I know what planet I want to choose. I'm gonna like eliminate them one by one. I don't wanna paint Earth because I've seen it so much because I live here. I don't want to paint Pluto. I don't want to paint Jupiter. I don't want to paint the moon. <laughs> I want to paint Mercury. I think you thought I wanted to do Saturn. I did. But I wanted to do Pluto the oh, entire cool. time. So I'm going to be painting the planet Mercury on cartridge paper with acrylic paint. And I'm going to be painting the planet Pluto yep. with watercolours and watercolour paper. We've got these boards which we're going to be putting the paper on and sticking them yeah. down with masking tape. We've got all of our materials now ready to paint our planet and we've got our planet and we've both also got our paper ready. It's on these boards which are on these easels. I've also got my compass ready, really. you can't find her so we're going to be sharing it. But I'm going to show you the photo I'm kind of in, like copying but interpreting it in my own way. This is the photo, it's of Pluto and I'm going to kind of copy it like with the colours. I'll probably have to make colours with my watercolours but I'm going to interpret it in a bit of a different way probably. Really excited to see yours. This is the one I'm painting, it's obviously Mercury. I think it's quite a hyper realistic picture or it was taken at a very specific time because I know Mercury's was portrayed a bit differently. But it's so pretty. This is artwork, so we have to do it exactly the same as our photos. We can interpret it in different ways and kind of change a few things. So the first thing we're going to do is draw our designs, and I'm going to, we're going to use a compass. So I'm going to draw a circle, and then I'll draw a circle after you. So I've done my circle, and this is what it looks like. It wasn't too hard, but it came off when I did the other side. So. I did my first try. Okay, take two. I don't think I've ever actually got this right in my life. I finally did it. It took me a few tries, but I got it in the end. Okay, I've put a couple colours out onto my board thing, and I've got a blue and a yellow. They're both really bright and not the actual colours that this planet is. But if I can get those colours down, I can work at it. So I'm gonna work from lightest to darkest. So I'm gonna work starting from like the lightest colours, which is like a pale, pale white right now. Oh, cool. Make sure if anywhere is white in the painting or if you're unsure, just leave it white and then it'll start building up. Okay, I'm ready to start. So Ray just gave me this little sheet. Is it a painting sheet, I think? Yeah, it's for watercolour, like yeah. specifically. And I'm just gonna use it to test out the colours on it. I've put down some initial colour in the places where I roughly want it to be and I've basically just done this instead of doing it in pencil and now what I'm going to do is take those tones of that colour and start building the areas up how they are presented in the image. I'm putting on loads of light colours and blending them out right now. 
quite simple. Mine's going good. It just kind of needs more depth to it and more darker colours right now. Cool. Right now, for mine, I just kind of need to keep building it up. How would you describe your image though? Because I always think of um, watercolour paintings as being really pretty, like more beautiful in paintings, and then they're like delicate. Yeah. That, if that's that, expressed right. That's right, what you said, that's right. just about finished my painting now and I really love how it's looking it's definitely got loads of different colors in it but all I need to do now is a few more patches of color and just kind of give it more depth and then I'll be done very nice I'm still building mine up I feel like it's a really key part in how I paint in general and just how this painting works I tend to lay down colors and then just add more from there so I've got light tones and dark tones on here already and I'm just adding more <laughs> Finally finished. I haven't seen Ruby's, but mine looks really good. I'm actually quite proud of this painting. I've never painted a planet before, and I'm surprised that it looks like a planet. Yeah, same. I'm really surprised it actually turned out this good, to be honest. I bet yours is so good, too. Our mum has told us we have three more rounds, and I'm really surprised because I don't know what this could be, but we'll find out now, so yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! Wait. <gasps> okay, that's, <laughs> that's a lot of emotions. <laughs> so we have four options here. Option number one, black, white, silver, and gold Posca pens. Option number two, metallic pens in loads of colors. Option number three is micas, which don't use forever. Yeah, they're just little like powders you can put on things. And option four is glitter. Okay, so it looks like we've either got like a powder option or a pen. Yeah. I feel like these are gonna finish them off quite well, do you think? Same, yeah, definitely. Rock, paper, scissors. Yes. You ready? I want. Oh, no, I did paper. Oh, I actually don't know what I want, but I know what you want. I don't know what I want. I don't know, what do I want? I think it would be cool, and I think you want the pens, so I'm gonna go with Micahs, because I kind of want to see what happens when I try them out. Cool, I'm gonna go with the pens. This is our second to last round and now I'm completely lost. I don't know what else. I thought like this glittery type thing would be this last round, but yeah. I don't know. There's two more and I have no idea what they are. Three, two, one. Oh! <gasps> Serif, cursive, vintage or no title. <gasps> I know what's happening. So these options are fonts or options towards writing a title on your painting. So whatever oh. you painted, you'd probably write that. I haven't written anything on that. Well, you haven't yet. That's this round. I don't have anything to write with. Um. So I guess, what plans did you pick? I'm so confused, really. But you just picked the pens and I didn't pick anything. Well, you're gonna have to do it in powder. Four different options here. No titles, pretty self-explanatory. You just don't Not do any. Writing. Cursive is joined together writing, it's usually quite swirly. Vintage is quite decorative. Serif is also quite blocky, but on the ends of the letters, there's kind of flicks on it. I'll show you. Something. Like that. Ah, that's cool. That looks really difficult though. Rock, paper, scissors. Woohoo! I know what I want. Well, you're first. I would like cursive. Okay. I want serif. Ooh, nice. We have one round left. Maybe it's more pens to write this with, although we did just get them. Yeah, but there was a good chance we weren't gonna get pens and if there's one round based on yeah. writing, then I think we'll probably get pen. I'm not sure, should we find out? Yeah. Three, two, one. Whoa! Wait, that what? makes sense. Photo frames. But where's the, where's the pens? Well, oh, you're doing it in powder. You've got paint as well. Oh yeah, I can use the paints. I'm gonna use the paints then. I'm happy yeah. with that. Cool. Yeah. We have three photo frame options. Number one is kind of a clip-on frame, I think. And it's just 
Whilst at the front there isn't a border. This one's wooden. And then we have a modern black frame. I realised why we didn't get canvas now because it's gonna go in the frames. I actually have some images like this in my room and I'm excited to add to them. Yeah, I'm excited as well. I'm really happy I'm excited to put this in my room with these canvases, but they're so pretty. It's kind of hard to choose because they're like more the same. <laughs> yeah, I keep flipping between the one I want. You ready? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, I have all options and I still can't make my mind up. I know what I want. I don't want this one. I want this one. So I like both of these the same, but I think because I have quite a few colours which match to this, and I don't have any black in mine, I think I'm going to go with this because it would be a nice photo. Yeah. So we're actually going to leave our paintings to dry overnight before we add any more because it's so easy to smudge them and mess them up. Mm -hmm. and Especially want... before we put them in frames. Yeah, we want them to be completely dry so then we don't yeah. mess them up. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya! So it is now the next day and our paintings are fully dry. I'm really happy with how mine's looking. It dried completely and it's only buckled a bit so the paper's pretty straight, which I'm surprised about. We covered our paintings with our frames so if we walked in and out of this room we couldn't see anything. Now all we've got to do is the finishing touches. We've got to add a bit of sparkle, do the titles and then put the images in frames. I'm using micas to do my title and probably a little bit on the planet too just for some sparkle. Yeah. So I'm going to mix it with water. I have a sort of dish here which I can mix them and hopefully it works. I think it will. I'm going to be using Tosca pens and I'm not going to say which colour. We both came prepared for this though because we printed out our text saying the words we want them to say in the fonts that we selected. So this is a serif font and it says Mercury. And this is in the cursive font and it says Pluto. So we're just going to do the titles and the finishing touches then we'll be back to you for our final reveal. right now and it's going really really well I definitely needed to do this because it's kind of bringing the image together and making it look more like a planet than what it did before with these micas it is working but it's working more faded than I thought it would like it's not as pigmented and I might just put a little bit of sparkles on the planet I'm excited to see We've finally finished our paintings, we've added all of the finishing touches and we've left them on the boards they were on so we can put them on the frames. frames. But we're going to do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first and they've turned out, mine's turned out so well. Yeah, I'm so guessing, mine. I'm guessing yours has too. So I'm very excited about this. He's going first, you? I'll go first. Oh, yes. Okay, show your eyes. Three, two, one. So good. Thank you. Whoa. Oh yeah, I see the hook. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. That part's Costco pen. <gasps> Wait, that is, oh my gosh, that's really good. It looks so cool. It's like, it looks kind of like, what's it called? Uh? No, it looks like painting. No, car. Oh, it looks kind of cartoony. <laughs> No, that's not what I mean. It's like really smooth, like cartoony because these things are yeah. in a good way. Thank you. I'm going to put it on my wall. I'm ready to show one Three, two, one. Here is my painting officially done. As you can see, the paint is where the planet is and I kind of just built up layers. And then the white parts and the highlights of the planet were mainly Posca pen. And then I wrote Mercury in the bottom and I'm really happy with that. I'm excited to put it in my room. It's so good and you definitely did so well. I did not expect it to be that good to be honest. Okay, I've moved the painting to the right. Ruby is there, she's just behind it. This was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be purely because you're drawing a planet and it's not a sphere. It's a whole system of things going on in one place. So it isn't the same thing as picking where the light reflects off and then shading from there. You have to take a lot more into account. But that being said, I think I managed to do that and I'm proud of what I did. Okay, so you can look in three, two, one. Whoa! That's pretty cool. 
you know well done i've never managed to get proper grass for watercolour but you you've done that well done yeah it's definitely different because you used acrylic so it's probably going to be more of like a bang on vibrant colour it's really pretty looking though it, it yeah like it's that. really like elegant i would call it mm -hmm. yeah it goes in my room i'm gonna show you guys now three two one so this is mine i did pluto and i used watercolours i'm really proud of it i think it turned out very very good Hi. With the watercolours, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because I haven't used them that many times before. It's elegant and kind of really pretty to do. So here it is in the camera and I'm really happy with it. It was quite hard to do with especially the writing, but except from that, I really enjoyed doing it and I think it turned out well. It's a really pretty painting. Well done. Thank you. These are our final paintings done, but the only thing we haven't done with them yet is put them in the frames, which I'm so excited to do because it will finish them off. Same. I'm very excited to see how it looks. So we're going to do that in three, two, one. So our paintings are in the frames now and this is what they look like. I'm really, really excited about them. Same, I'm literally, it makes it so much better when they're in here as well. They look like 10 times better. Looks like something you could buy off Etsy. I would definitely buy this off Etsy if yeah, I saw so it. I. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how they turn out. They like, look like a good pair. Yeah, they, if I had those sparks on mine, then they would be so good together. Make sure to head over to the community page and comment who's you like the most. Ruby or Rayleigh's? But if you can't pick one, then comment what you like about them. This is what they look like together. I think they look great as a set and I can't want to put them together, but I also want mine in my room. <laughs> <laughs> we hope we've inspired you to make your own planet. If you do, tag us on Instagram with your photos. And we will put them on a story. Yeah. That's the end of our video. We have two shout outs. The first shout out goes to Phoebe Kirkham. She messaged us and she even said that her birthday is this month. So she is 13 this month. So happy birthday for then. You also sent us some amazing drawings of a fish, some Doritos and a turtle. So they're really, really good. Thank you for sending them in. Second shout out goes to Holly George who emailed us some really, really beautiful examples of her work. One of them is a tiger, one of them is a harbour, and one of them is a mouse. My favourite is the harbour. My favourite is the tiger. Must have put a lot of effort into them, actually. <laughs> and Holly also has a YouTube channel called Holly's Creations. Make sure to go and subscribe and support her. If you want a shout out in a future video, either email us with a photo of your artwork, tag us on Instagram with a photo, or comment on the community page on a YouTube channel that shows your artwork. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you like our content, then also subscribe to us. And if you want to be notified when we upload, hit the notification bell because I don't think you are actually notified if you're just subscribed. That's the end of our videos. Here are our paintings again. We really hope you enjoyed the video. We love you. Bye. Our mum's told... Sorry, let me restart that. <laughs> Would you want to write Hoover Scissors for round two? Oh no, we haven't we even got the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should shut our eyes first. Okay. Look how cool that is. It's like textured. I keep blocking myself on everything. Ow! We have three. <laughs> we just want to live there. Look how pretty it was. I know, but I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs>